Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In this previous video, we have seen how the structural directive works behind the scenes, right? So in the Angular, we have seen how the actually the structural directive works we have seen. Now in this video, what we will try to do is, we will try to create our own structural directive. So what I will try to do is here, I will try to create the ngif structural directive, our own ngif, okay? So this is the Angular built-in if condition they have given, right? So we will try to develop our own if condition, how we can develop the structural directive, we will try to see. So now for the for developing that one, so what we need to do is, we need to first create a new file, directive. I What I can do is alternate, alternate if dot directive dot ts. So whatever the name you want to give, you can give. So I am trying to create an if direction that is alternate if direction. So you can use ng if or otherwise you can use this directive also. So any, any if directive you can use. So simply what we can say is export class alternate if if directive you can keep the name like this okay so for this one we need to import the directive from where we need to import angular slash core okay so this is the first thing what we need to import so here is the directive so we have imported the directive here and here we need to give the decorator of directive in order to convert this class as a decorator we need to give like this so i will be using the selector so square brackets, why we need to use the square brackets, I have explained you in the directives. If you use the square brackets, we can give it as an attribute. If you mention only la, like this, uh, app alternate if, if you mention like this means, you will be mentioning this one as an HTML element, something like component we will be mentioning. So we will use it like the square bracket so that we will use it as an attribute only for the HTML element. Now, okay, fine, we have implemented. Now app alternate in uh, how it will be, uh, how we will be trying to give is, so here div, so it should be something like star app alternate if like this we will try to give, okay, and I will try to give the condition, okay, so I will be giving the available, so like this you will be able to get the input, right, so what I will try to do, so here you will be getting an input variable, so the data you will be getting an input variable so here you need to import it from the okay from the angular core input what i will be getting so the same with the same name you will be getting the data so i will i will take app alternate if so why because for the directory name only we will be giving the uh, data right so that's for that reason i am creating so now constructor i will create a constructor okay for the constructor what we need to get First, we need to get the template. So, template means nothing but behind the scenes how the structural directive will be converted. It will be converted to the ng template like this. It will be converted. So, we need to remember this one. So, star ng if, if you are mentioning any structural directives that is starting with the star means. So, behind the scenes angular will be con angular it will be converting into like this. So, we need to get the template. So, okay, we need to get the template. So, we need to get the template means. So, previously we used to get the for attribute directive we used to get the element ref right. Uh, for the html we need we will be getting the element ref. In the same scenario, we need, if we need to get this template, we will be having template ref. So template ref is called of type template ref. Okay, this one also it will be imported from the Angular code of type any. Okay, you can type of type any. And another one, what we need to get is where where I need to keep this template. If the condition got true, means where I need to go, where I need to get uh, render the template. So that one you will be having the view container ref. Okay, so we see ref. So you can so you can think this one is also imported from the Angular code. So this one is the view container ref. So that is nothing but what you can say is this user container HTML. This is nothing but the view, right? This is one view container. So this is the ref, this reference you will be getting that one in the directive. So I need to place it in the view container ref and the template ref. Okay, template ref means what is the template I need to render and where I need to render. So you need to remember this one. So now I, I got that uh, condition. So now I can go to so when this input condition is changing. Okay, when this input condition changes, I need to place, for example, here implements on init. So we will write it as on init. Okay. So now what I will try to do is ng on init. I can implement the ng on init. So now if app alternate, so here what I can do is of type boolean. I can take of type boolean. Okay, if this dot app alternative, if it is true means then I need to paste 
paste this template i need to copy the i need to paste this template in the view container ref so i can write something like this dot vc ref i can i have written vd ref right so yeah you can check you can keep whatever name you want i can use vc ref dot you will be having create embedded view so we need to create an embedded view and we need to paste the template this dot template ref okay so we need to pay and else if we if we did if we didn't get if if the condition is not true miss then we need to remove that one from the template view so vc ref dot clear okay we need to clear this one so this is how we can paste this one so now ng on it okay fine so we have paste so now we need to we will be going to this this is how we will be writing the structural directive and here you can go to the app module and here you can add the import so you need to import in the declaration so whenever a new directory is created so we need to import import from so slash uh, directive slash alternative dot directive so i can go here and i can paste it alternative directive i can go here and i can do alternate if directive so i pasted it here if i go here so no errors nothing so fine it's fine now i can go here into the see here into user.html and i can paste the code something like due okay now i need to write the condition app alternative is equal to i will use this is available okay so now this condition uh, enables with custom directory or something like this okay so we have written some code so now we will try to check the output if i try to check the output here so now we are not able to see the output right so why we are not able to see the output is so because of the i think i kept it false okay fine i kept it false right so i will keep it as true so true means all these all templates three templates will be visible so if i refresh this one please add the background color right okay why this one is not visible so we will check it in the console if there is any errors or anything if we will try to check okay fine we got the two errors so here we are getting a no provider for the template ref no provider for the template ref okay fine so let's check that one what is the problem we are getting so here i can go uh, vc ref diff yeah what is the problem it is saying so template ref is not here if you go here yeah this is the problem see so we are defining it as attribute director instead of the structural director we need to represent this one as the structural director this is the problem if you represent this one as a structural director then template ref, ref will come or otherwise here element ref will come if you mention it with the square bracket element ref will come now here so or otherwise you need to mention the ng template like this so here you know if i go and if i check the output here no this one has gone away okay fine now here you got the condition c this condition enables with the custom directive fine now what i will try to do is i will try to keep a button here so i will try to keep the button here button okay uh, toggle okay toggle condition so we will toggle the condition so that is available will become true and false like this so click is equal to is available is equal to not of is available yeah so we'll keep it like this and here i will write the class is equal to oh sorry what is this happening yeah class is equal to btn btn hyphen primary or warning anything so other than the colors so differentiation you will have now what i am keeping is here i am keeping the toggle connection so that if we click on this button automatically the condition will get true and false something like that so now if i click in this one toggle so if i click toggle automatically the conditions all uh, the uh, these all templates has gone away but here the alternative is not gone see so when we first press only so this one is taking when we are changing this easy available to true false it is not taking that condition so why is this happening so here if you go here and if you see this one we have written in the on ng on it ng on it means this one will be executed only once so when whenever the directive is initialized so now here the directive is initialized but we are we are changing the alternate uh, what is available condition to false again so that means the, the directory is already present 
then again ng on init will not execute so what we need to do we need to remove this on init and we need to write on changes okay so here you can write ng on changes instead of this ng on it so we can write this one in ng on changes so that we have read, we have seen about this ng on we have seen about this ng on changes on what we can say in the component life cycle we have seen so this one will fire whenever this input data is changed so that means here this input data is toggling is changing whenever we click on this button okay a variable is true and false it is toggling so that means is available variable is changing so that means automatically ng on changes will fire and it checks the again alternate if uh, this condition is true or false it will check now if we try to check this one now here if i refresh and if i click here now the condition is getting true c okay okay my it is pressing double double times my mouse is not nice okay mm, you can check here if i click here so it is visible if i check it will go away if i check here it will be visible it will be go away it will be visible it will go away okay so here this is how it will work and here another another change what i can tell you is here instead of writing with div alternative ng if condition like this okay sorry sorry instead of writing ng on changes like this we can also write in another way also so we can enable the set attribute here okay set means it will be used as a set we will be having this condition like this boolean so we will get condition like this boolean and here you can take this all code and you can paste it here so ng on changes and this one is one and the same only why because ng on changes this is depending on only alternative right this input condition right so we can add a setter property setter, setter method for this one so that whenever this app alternative is trying to change means this set method will execute so this method also you can write or otherwise you can also write that method also okay condition you can check this condition and you can paste it here and you can use this condition also this is also the same or ng on changes we also have we already have the component life cycle right so we can use this ng on changes also so now if i try to execute this output the same thing happens it's not oh sorry my mouse has some problem yeah okay so you will be having eh. oh, yeah okay fine so like this you will be able to get the execution okay so the mouse is clicking double times double times my mouse so i need to check whether the mouse is working properly or not okay so this is how we can execute the yeah you can do the structural directive so this is how we will be using so star means automatically what it will do in the back end means it will do the uh, what i can say ng template it will be converted into the ng template and here alternate to ng on changes and also setter properties one in the same most probably we can use this ng on changes why because we also we already have the component life cycle right so we can use the ng on changes this is about the structural directive how to create a custom structural directive in the angular so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you